In a town you've never heard of is a lady you've never met. We don't know her life, but we know her life's work. Football was my job. I always wanted to make it. And especially when I got to sew in the NFL ball. That football's out there on that field, and millions of people are seeing that football that I sewed. I want it to look, I want it to look good. <laughs> Every football that has ever been passed from one NFL great to another has come out of small Ada, Ohio. For the past 48 years, Aunt Jane has had a hand in every Super Bowl football since the tradition began. And this was her last year. And in letting go of the sewing needle, she'd have to let go of that dream as well. I, I see my work, or saw my work out on the field, but it just doesn't seem real. If I could just walk out on the field you know, and just because I've been in the stands, but to see what it looks like, the stadium from the field itself on the 50 yard line or something or other, I don't think it's something that's, that can happen because I've retired. She has been part of a community built on a legacy of hard work and loyalty, clocking in each day at Wilson's factory. It starts with four panels that come together, delicately stitched inside out by time-worn hands. Hands like these, hands like Aunt Jane's. And then steamed to be workable, turned to be graspable, and then laced, one white stripe that weaves and bobs through holes in the line. Inflating the football to 13 PSI, is the final step that completes the transformation from formless leather swatches to footballs of championship quality. Like the playoff race itself, only the best move on. That's pride. <laughs> it's a pride thing, sewing the footballs for the NFL, of being able to do that and meeting all the people that I have met. It's something that I didn't want to give up. But 48 years and tens of thousands of footballs later, these hands have put down the stitching needle and clocked out. But Aunt Jane has an opportunity to do what she does so well one last time. The very moment the two teams are decided, it's time to get to work. Production starts after sundown, but pride outshines the light she works by. Aunt Jane sews up the last Super Bowl footballs of her career, passing them off to the NFL greats. For the last half century, this championship game, hoisting the Vince Lombardi trophy high above their heads, has come to define careers, to fulfill dreams. There, when a player makes a big play and he keeps that ball, and I'm thinking, my football is in somebody's trophy room somewhere. <laughs> that is their trophy that I made. No one in the world will have done what you've done. And no one's a better teammate or more loved by your partners. Well, thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for being here. She walks out of the factory and onto a plane to Phoenix. She's headed to see her 10th championship game to a stadium that houses 13 times the number of people who call Ada home. Aunt Jane has been there so many times, but she's always been so far away from that field. So the one thing that we haven't been able to do that Wilson has been wanting to do for you forever and one thing that I know that you've wanted to do is you wanted to get on the field at the Super Bowl. Well, today's the day. So we're gonna take you onto the field. Thank you so much. After 48 years, it never felt real. And now the embodiment of her work will at last be realized when she walks out of the tunnel and onto the field. Oh my, that, oh my. <laughs> 
For nearly 50 years, Aunt Jane went into the factory with the same precision, dedication, and tenacity found every day on the field. We're at the stadium where the Super Bowl is going to play, be played, and I'm on the 50-yard line. It's awesome. It's a dream come true. Never thought in the world. Her expert stitches are her contribution to something bigger than her, bigger than Ada. Now you know her name, but you've always felt her legacy.